nasty. If you have never been bitten by a shark, I never wish that you are. Um, and I mean, I'm talking metaphorically, of course, right? Yes. The real estate sharks. Yes. But I, I was bitten pretty bad. I was, I was shaken up. You know, I, I was. Uh, I, I've been thrown into. Uh, I've been thrown into a chaos of worry and uh, blame and shame and guilt and all those feelings that we all go through. And I think that the, the best thing that I ever did is when I, when I went through that a number of years ago, what I did is I went to my local mental, I went to my doctor and I said to my doctor, I said, Hey doc, I'm really going under a lot of stress here. I need some help. And of course the doctor offered me medication and I declined the medication and I said, I really need training. I know that if I'm given the training that I will have the tools to make sure I can get back on track. And so uh, it was really cool because the doctor put me into a local emotional intelligence training course. It was about 20 some odd weeks. And then I ended up going for one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, coaching, consulting with it as well to the point where um, uh, there, there was a point where my, uh, my coach uh, said to me, you don't have to come here anymore. You're, you've graduated. Get lost. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad so, you got there. Good. But I tell you, um, I've, I've, you know, really how I've dealt with it is I'm open with my feelings. I share exactly. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm able to identify the feelings that I'm having, and I'm able to then, um, I'm able to either talk about it with my trusted uh, circle, or what I'm able to do is I'm able to write poetry about it, which is what I actually do. And then I send it out to the world and I, um, and I get tons of likes and I enjoy that. And, um, uh, and it makes me, then I'm able to, 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 to deal, to deal with the process. And meditation has been key. I do lots of Reiki in my family. Um, you know, my, my children, uh, six and 12, they, they both, they both understand that there is a invisible healing energy that, uh, that, that can be called upon for our, for our benefit. And, uh, you know, um, I just work on it every single day. If you see who I was three years ago or who I was 10 years ago, you'll, you're, you're, you're going to see that, uh, you know, this, you know, in my early days, I'll, 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 I'll rephrase it a different way. In my early days, I wanted to be a millionaire. And so I did all the things that allowed me to become a millionaire and I achieved my goal. Excellent. Now, I'm, yes. I'm in a position now where I didn't understand the responsibility that I was asking for. It's an incredible amount of responsibility. Uh, quite frankly, most of the people on the call probably wouldn't want that responsibility to manage all these properties, to do all this and all that. It was just incredible. And so what I decided to do is I decided that I was going to do what I really love to do. And I had a great a mentor of mine, a friend of mine named uh, Valor. And uh, Valor goes, Odin, what? And that's where earlier on I said I like to listen. I like to listen because I, I, I know that I'm not the smartest person in the room. Uh, <laughs> so I look for the smartest person in the room. If I happen to be the smartest person in the room, I try to invite someone who's smarter than me. I also know I'm not a know-it-all. I know there's a lot more than I can know, and that allows me to have – it allows me to put my ego in check, although sometimes it does rare up you know, and say, oh, I'm here. Pay attention to me. But, but, but mainly I like to listen. And he goes, what did you do that really brought you success, Odin? And I realized it was marketing. And so a few years ago, I just got back on the marketing bandwagon. I brushed off all the old stuff that brought me to where I was successful. And this is my round two. And this time it's really different. This time um, I'm, I'm not working for myself. And I don't, have, uh, I don't have any business partners. I work for a company by choice. Um, and, uh, I'm involved, um, in, as much as the owner wants me to be involved, but, uh, I get to do the things I love to do. I get to, I mean, I don't have to go to an office every single day. I get to, I get to work out of the home office and there's just, it's just absolute blessing. So how do I deal with it? I, um, I, I realize what's important and what's not important. Uh, what's important nowadays is, um, if a judge rules, that we, what you said was wrong, that's what I listen to. So until a judge makes a ruling about something, it's just opinion, and I don't really sweat it. Um, and uh, and I do make sure, and, and that's a little bit of a uh, um, a little bit of a pearl there for everyone listening, um, because there's going to be people um, out there that want to take stuff that you've got. And uh, what's really important uh, for you to realize is you don't have to listen to people. Um, uh, well, you should listen to people, um, but uh, you don't have to listen to people who want what you've got and are not willing to compensate you for it or give you fair trade for it or manipulate you out of it. Because let's face it, there's a lot of scams and con artists out there. 
And so uh, I, I, um, I, I've, uh, I've really put my foot down when it comes to tolerating certain things. I'm, I don't have the wool. I'm no, I'm no longer naive about certain things, and that, and that gives me a certain, um, uh, it gives me a certain uh, relaxation. But at the same time, it, 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 it gives me a certain, uh, um, if you put up my red flags, I, 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 uh, I'll ask you certain questions. And if you put up more red flags, I, I, don't, I don't mind if we just stay friends and we don't do business together. And I have lots of people that, that are like that. So I don't know if that answered your question. Well, it does. And I think another thing it does, like going back to how you now say how you now do business based on all of these different points on how you've been affected in different ways. And in hindsight, if you'd known what to do, which you now in 2018 do, I can see why you've changed the way that you do things. Yeah. Because you've worked very hard to get to this point of of success that you wanted to gear towards. And you haven't just sat back and waited for, you know, inheritance or waited for a, you know, a fund, a trustee fund to turn up on the doorstep. Like you've really, really had something in mind. And I believe that you've put a lot of hours in to succeed. I don't think you've just, you yeah. know, it's not someone that's sitting on the show saying to me, you know, Sarah, I've worked for four hours a day for five years and now I'm a millionaire. Like you yeah. haven't, you haven't done it that, that I yeah. guess that social media scam way where people say I've made this much money in this amount of time. And then yeah. when people go to do that, it's impossible. So you wonder then if it was true in the first place. So you've really shown us this evening the way that you've got you've gone in to do it. How has the um, reaction been of people around you as you've become more successful? You know, I've been getting comments because a lot of people have saw me in my down and out. So my this interview with you marks a brand new stage in my life. By the way, Great. it's Great. my it's my step back out into the marketplace other than, you know, uh, uh, in, a, in a broader sense. And everyone around me uh, is just really thrilled with the changes that I've been making. And they, they tell me, I mean, you know, the people that are in my immediate circle, they say, Odin, I, I, I can't believe where you've been and where you are today. And when I, when I say, like, I was really take, I had a bite taken out of me, guys. Like, it was, it was to the point where, um, you know, I... Uh, you know, I, I was really, I went through it, you know, I mean, it, it, I, I look, I'm envious of the people that constantly have those up, 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 and they never have anything, you know, bad happen to them. And I, I I'm envious of that because, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay, I was doing it, doing it. And I was like, oh, I didn't see that. Oh man, I've been taken advantage of. Oh, not just a but little But I think bit. what you were saying earlier, it's so true to why you were taken advantage of. You had a little bit of naivety around you, but it wasn't the naivety. It was the trust factor because you said you trusted people. You trust them. So why would it go wrong? Because you would be saying... It's still important to trust, though. And like you wanted to trust, but like you said, you didn't realize that it would turn out that way because because that's not how you would have treated somebody. So you're beyond, you know, like surprised that people would do that back to you. Well, I, I think that what I've really come to terms with in this process is the kind of people that I really want around me and everyone around me that is seeing my success they're they're just they're like they're they're just doing what I do I, I lead by example so I um I mean you know I I don't I of course I want millions of YouTube followers of course I want millions of Facebook followers of course I want all that stuff well, it takes time, effort, energy, consistency, a story. It takes dedication, persistence. It, it, it takes you realizing, would you rather do that kind of work or go and do another kind of work that you might not enjoy as much? Again, we're blessed to be doing this right now. So I, I think that you're right. And uh, in this new phase, um, I, I'm able to nurture my naive self. And now I know who to go to talk to. I go talk to my lawyer all the time first and I go talk to um, the business owner and and then what I do is I go talk to my other advisors and get their input and um, I mean just recently uh, there was this birthday thing that was going around uh, where you get to birthday where you get a a friend of yours to put five thousand dollars in and you get five of your friends to put five thousand dollars in you get 40 grand it was RCMP has said it's a scam yes and so before the RCMP said it was a scam you know I'm 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 a marketing guy I get I get excited about anything that can make good money. And so what I decided to do is I decided to do it through my my pass my test kind of sniff test, my red flag test. Now, this is a trusted associate of mine, past client, as a matter of fact, that I, that I helped out. And um, I ended up going and, and bringing it to uh, three of my trusted friends. 
and I brought it to um, a woman, one of my friends that's a woman. I brought it to one of my friends that's a guy, and I brought it to one of my millionaire friends. And each of them said no, but the best one, the best one was my the last one, one of my millionaire friends, um, where within 30 seconds he says, don't you have any morals? Don't you know that this is a scam? I, I, it's Andrew Resmer, by the way, just to, to plug Andrew. He's a, he's a good guy. Okay, yeah. um, don't you know this is a scam? Don't you know that this is that, that that you're ripping people off because I want nothing further to do with this and hung up. And I realized in that moment that I was given the permission to call a spade a spade or a trump a trump, so to speak. Yes. <laughs> and um, uh, that's a cheesy trump joke. That's I know. Good. I know. I hate uh, it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but it really it, you know in that moment in that moment I realized that we really need to if we know something that someone else doesn't know and they're asking for advice, give them the advice. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about, uh, where everything's going. Uh, um, I'm, my next project is I want to build a townhouse project locally here in the lower mainland. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for joint venture partners that, that, uh, that want, there's a whole bunch of different facets that have to go around doing that. I've got a builder already, which is great. Now all I want to know is how many people want to go and buy a house and then we're going to go find the land together and we're going to build it all out and we'll build it at cost and whoever wants to sell their unit and make money, they can do that. But I want to do, that's what I'm known for in the industry is creating awesome real estate deals. And, and the other side is I have this uh, monthly, uh, um, I have a weekly uh, marketing mastermind group that we do, and I'm opening Mondays up. It's our social media Mondays for anybody that wants to learn social media. I open it up. You just have to contact us and say that you want on. There's We only have 100 spots available. Okay. And so uh, they can come on for free. It's my way of showing you what it is that we do and to actually get you making sales and, and uh, in, increasing your social media presence and actually creating a story for yourself and so on. So that's free. I'm giving away to people. And then so, so now I'm in a position where I do the real estate as a hobby, no more full time. I do what I love to do, which is the marketing. And I'm leveraging my time by having mastermind groups. And so we have three to four mastermind groups per week, not including one-on-one sessions that I do with people. And, and they, and it's for one low price starting at $197. So it's, uh, it's quite frankly, it's a steal of a deal. That is, that's um, good. And there's nowhere, there's nowhere in the marketplace that'll give you one-on-one coaching the way that I give for, for such an incredible value. Mm. Hope, okay, I hope it's okay that I said that. Of course it is. Yes, yes, definitely. Anyone who comes on the show, I want them to talk about what what they're doing and how they're doing it. So if someone's listening and they've got their notebook going, I want them to know that you're doing this and they can get a hold of you in this way. It definitely yeah. is. Yes, I do. Because yeah. if they're saying, oh, I want to work with Odin, I don't want them to have to track you down then and wonder where they can find you. That's why, um, even though on our social media posts, we've got all of the information, that's why I'm now going to ask you towards the end of the show how we can get a hold of you. I always ask sure. everyone, so you tell us every single way that you would like listeners to get a hold of you. Sure, absolutely. You just let me know when when I can do that. Anytime. And, okay, so uh, you guys, my name is Odin, O-D-I-N-Z-A-V-I-E-R. If you search me up on uh, Google, you'll be able to find um, a bunch of stuff about me, and you'll see that I've... Uh, I've gone to tenancy dispute and I've done, uh, I've done stuff with securities and I've done, you know, I've got tons of experience and you just click on, uh, I'm on uh, LinkedIn so you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I treat that like a database. I go on it every day and I check it out. It didn't used to, by the way, that's one of the mistakes I made in my earlier practice. I took these things for granted thinking that, uh, um, it would come easy when I needed it. And, uh, that was just another naive self right so um so when i so you can go to linkedin and you can and i treat that as a database i look at it you can go to uh, facebook i i i we can take a look at that as well uh you can go to alignable uh, a l i g n a b l e you can you can go there you can also send me an email you can send an email to odin o-d-i-n at canadian marketing team.com exactly how it's spelt is how it sounds kind of thing canadian marketing team.com and uh, that's the way to get a hold of me and um, sarah i'd love for you to come on our monday calls just to i'll give you all the details you can come check it out yes it's it's really helping everyone they're everyone that's on these calls they're act they're actively making sales they're putting script scripts together um they're they're achieving their goals on a weekly basis it's pretty darn exciting great i love that that. thank you i would love to have you a part of it yeah that would be excellent thank you well i can't thank you enough for this evening i have to say you've been 
very, very informative and very, very confidently telling us everything that's worked for you, things that haven't worked for you. And you've been a real open book. And I have to really, really appreciate how authentic